Good morning! Today we will go over the BMW DME CAS and key breakdown system. I will go over what exactly is the DME CAS and key. We'll also cover the main uh, problems that these modules got and what causes the system to fail. This is the most basic explanation about uh, the DME cast and the key. This video is made for people who do not really know how to work on BMW or maybe they just bought themselves a BMW as a project car or maybe as a daily and they want to find out a little bit more about their car. Well, instead of going over the forums, which is something that I still recommend doing, uh, I decided to make a video about uh, this uh, breakdown uh, and but let's get started. So, we'll start off with the DME. DME in BMW is the same thing as the ECU in any other computer. So, if the DME is the same, ME is the same as ECU, the CAS in uh, BMW is the immobilizer, Emo, and then key is just the key. Now we know the DME is the ECU. Well, what is the ECU? ECU is the engine control unit in your car. For different cars, it's, it's called different. In BMW, it's the DME. Okay, so now I want to show you how these three modules work together. It's just like a formula. Let me explain. The DME cast and key is very important for your car to actually start because if the DME is not communicating with the cast and if the cast is not communicating with the key, if you have any problems in those modules, the car will not start. If it, you know, uh, for every car it's different. However, uh, pretty much the problem is always the same when the DME is not communicating with the cast or when the cast is not communicating with the DME you will have no start of the car. So, as long as everything fine with your modules, and we're assuming that everything is fine with your modules, DME uh, plus key plus CAS, or the DME plus CAS plus key, equals your car cranking up, and then after that, starting. Yeah, so start right here. Now we'll go over what are the main problems in these uh, modules, and what causes, uh, you know, what causes the system to fail. All right, we'll start off with the main problems in, in the DME. The main problems that we have in the DME, primarily when the DME is not working, is because of the voltage. So, voltage spike. After the voltage spike, we got the water damage. Burn damage. That, to be honest with you, that's about it. This is as far as you need to know the basics of uh, the DME uh, system, what causes it to fail. We'll come to the CAS module right now. Usually when there is a problem in your CAS, you will hear a certain clicking, uh, like a relay clicking inside of the CAS module. Uh, this is usually the indication that the CAS got a problem in it. And the reason to that is the same exact as the DME, the voltage spikes, let's say if your battery is low, this is something that would cause the CAS to fail. Okay, so we can put that thing in there as well. Voltage spike. Water damage. Burn damage. And that's about it. Now, the key. Key is a little bit different actually, because the main reason when the key fails and then you cannot start your car is because of the battery. So, first thing that we want to do is replace the battery that's located uh, on the actual key. After the battery, we have uh, human error. Every single time that I was working on a BMW key, I would open up the module, uh, I would open up the key and see that someone was messing around with the, uh, with the key thinking that they know what they were doing, when in reality they damaged the board even more. So, 
human error. And another problem that all three of these uh, modules have is the synchronization problem. Again, the synchronization problem comes from the voltage spike. Sometimes when uh, the card battery is low, it can cause certain voltage spikes. And when voltage spikes are happening, because either there is too much voltage or too low voltage, the DME, CAS and the key, because all three of them are synchronized together, they get desynchronized. Okay, so. Pretty much these are the main problems that uh, these modules have. Whenever one of these problems happen in your car, your car, yeah, uh, referring to the formula, referring to the formula that was made that, that I did just like a second ago, it will pretty much mean that you will not be able to start your car. Let's talk about now what causes all of these problems inside of the DME, CAS and the key, what causes the voltage spike, what causes the water damage, burn damage, and synchronization problems as well. What causes the system to fail? I'll draw a little card. Well, I don't know, let's call this a 5 Series. 5 Series BMW. It doesn't matter if you have a 3 Series, a, again, 5 Series, 7 Series, uh, 2 Series, X1, X, X3, uh, X5. Keep in mind that we are talking about the E chassis, so E Series of BMW. Uh, we have a G, we have F Series, but that's later in the videos. Right now we are breaking down uh, the, the E chassis of the BMW. We have the car. Your BMW is cranking, but it's not starting. It's a 90% chance that you have the synchronization problem because when the car is cranking, it receives the signal from the CAS into your DME, but the DME is saying that there is something wrong with your car, uh, and hence that's why you cannot start it. So, synchronization. Why do you have the synchronization problem? As I said, the battery that's in your car, it's important, okay? It's important to have that checked out. We have battery right here. Battery. When battery jumps up and down, okay, the voltage, not the battery itself, but the voltage. When the, when the voltage jumps up and down, this is usually the cause, number one cause in the desynchronization uh, in your modules, okay? Now, let's say that you have a huge cloud and you have rain coming down the car. Yeah. When you have uh, rain coming down your car and your drains are full, water damage comes in, into the play. When water damage comes into the play, most of the time the car will not even crank because then it just doesn't see any communication coming from the key to the cast and the, obviously from the cast down to the DME. The DME itself... And the, this is the connectors by the way. The DME itself can easily have water coming down to the connectors and when that happens you will see an oxidation typically occurred by the green, greenish or maybe bluish, all depends on you know the water probably. But all uh, comes on. I don't have a blue marker but I have a pink one so we'll just mark it with pink. Whenever you see blue or green residue this means that water got inside of the connectors. And when water got inside of the connectors, the best way to have this problem fixed is just to have another DME. And by that, I mean a replacement module. Okay, so now the next question is, well, can you get another DME, let's say from the same year and model that my car is from, can I just take that DME with good connectors and put it into my car? Will it work? Well, the answer is no, it will not work. Because BMW is extremely sensitive when it comes down to the electronics. 
which means that after every single after every single part electronical part that you replace in the BMW you have to swap the data you swap the data by taking out the information from the original computer and put it into the replacement module now there are specific specialized shops that do this type of job like us ECU team we do this type of job we can uh, uh, reprogram the original computer into the replacement in fact we even provide the uh, already a replacement that's ready to be plug and play check out our store link in the description all the information with the CAS and the key all the information gets transferred to the new DME if it's done properly after this process is done and the information is transferred as long as you had the original DME working before water got inside of it now I'm talking about uh, uh, the cast and the key if, you're, if you were able to start the car then you should have no problem starting the car on the replacement module however most of the time the problem that I see with people is that when they transfer the data uh, they tend to either do it the wrong way, do it with a tool uh, that is not transferring the information properly, or they just mess up the electrics in the car. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. Wiring. Wiring system in the car is extremely important, especially when it comes down to BMW. Wiring uh, in the car, it's just like your veins and arteries that goes through your body so for example we have a wiring going through we have a short happening and then we have the wiring continue going to whatever place it needs to get because of this short right here this can easily cause a problem in your car such as again the car not starting and uh, maybe even going into the limp mode and we're, we're, I'm about to discuss what limp mode is in just a moment for you so before doing any type of job that you want to do on your car make sure that the wiring is good and to check the wiring there are a couple of tools that you can get to, to be able to check it right like a regular tester maybe it's called a short Let's say that you want to get yourself a new DME, you get, you get yourself that new DME, you, uh, you, you replace it, you know that the DME is the problem, but then you have a short in your car that you never checked out. Okay. So after the replacement of the DME, when you put it into the car, there is a big possibility of the DME getting desynchronized once again because of the short. What causes the short? Okay. The short. What causes the short? A lot of things, I'm telling you. There are three main things about what causes the uh, wiring to short out. And it's friction of the wiring. Every single time uh, you drive the car, the engine is running. And when it's running, what's happening with the engine? The engine is shaking. And when it's shaking, the wiring is touching. And when they touch each other, friction is happening. When friction is happening, boom, short can be uh, present. Another problem, module internal burn damage. If your DME got a burn inside of it uh, because of uh, the voltage, the wiring, when it goes into the module, can easily be shorted out because component that, that's inside of the module, it doesn't matter what component it can be. It can be the CPU or it can be some type of driver. If, if it's burned out, it will start eating much more uh, energy than what it's supposed to, therefore causing the wires to short out. And last but not, le uh, last but not least is the collapse of the pr protection frame. So let me explain to you a little bit uh, more in deeply what I'm talking about. When it comes down to the collapse of the protection fur, this right here, this is your wiring. We are talking about the engine bay right now. 
Over the wiring you will see, uh, usually it's a uh, maybe two-sided scotch, some type of fur that covers the whole entire wiring in your car. Let's not forget, we're talking about E-Series, which is still pretty old to today's standards, right? So, what happens? The, the protection fur uh, on the wiring dries out, and when it dries out, it shrinks. As it shrinks, it, it dries even more out, eventually the pieces fall down onto the wiring. And when the pieces fall down into the wiring, what's happening? Yeah, that's right. We got whole bunch of whole whole bunch of uh, short problems. So before you do anything about replacing the parts into your uh, uh, replacing the parts on your car, or maybe uh, doing some type of I don't know. Before, before replacing any components in your car, make sure that the wiring in your car is good first. And the best way to do that is to find a tool, you can find the tool on, I don't know, Amazon, eBay, uh, like a tester. You can find yourself a tester, go through the wiring, check it, potentially if this is what's happening, uh, replace the protection firm, which is also not really that expensive. Uh, uh, that's it, you should be good. So if you don't have this problem, great. If you do have this problem, you already know what, uh, what needs to be done first. Remember, first thing you want to do, always check out the wiring. Always check out the wiring. Always. Before replacing any component on your car, Make sure you always check the, wire, the, the wiring, it's extremely important. Anytime you try and replace a module in your car, if you have problem with the wiring, the replacement will not work. Okay, so when it comes down to the electrics of the car, before you're doing anything, check the wiring. Always check the wiring, it, it must be a rule, okay? Alright, other than that, this was the basic tutorial about the DME, CAS and the key, how they operate together and what, uh, what, you know, what causes the system to fail and what are their main problems. We went over these three main uh, uh, questions today. Uh, more advanced uh, video, more in-depth video will be later on. Uh, this is for those of you who is new to the BMW world, really uh, doesn't know what to look after. Hopefully this video helps you out a lot. Thank you very much for watching it. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.